So our topic for today is adding and subtracting fractions. All right, so here's some keynotes. Decimals, uh, denominators, denominators must be the same, okay? If the denominators are not the same for adding and subtracting fractions, you can't do it, okay? So let's give uh, a quick example. Let's say we have 2 thirds plus um, 4 thirds, okay? The denominators are the same here, all right? So that'll stay the same. 4 plus uh, 2 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2, okay? So this operation gives us a sum of 2. Now, let's say instead we had 2 thirds plus 5 sixths. All right, what do you have to do? We have to make our denominators the same. And in order to do that, we need to find the least common multiple. So out of three and six, we're gonna do all the multiples. Three times one, three times two, three times three, three times four, and three times five. Well, let's do about five at a time. Then we got six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Now, which one of these numbers match? We have six, and then we have 12 as well. But we want the smallest one. So our least common multiple is gonna be six. So for these fractions, I'm gonna make sure they're both six, all right? So this is the same as this, this is the same as this. Now, obviously, it went from a three to a six. What number multiplied by three equals six? That's gonna be two. So three times two is six. So for the top, we have to multiply by two as well. Two times two is four. Now, luckily, this is already the same. We don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna put times one to make sure I show my work. That's gonna be five. So four, six plus five, six, five plus four is nine. We got nine, six. Let's go ahead and simplify this. They both could be divided by three. So divided by three is three, divided by three is two. So we have one and one half. Either three over two as an improper fraction or one and one half. Okay, but of course the thing to note here is that I had to make all of our excuse me all of our decimals the same. All right, now let's try <clears throat> let's try three fourths plus <clears throat> um, let's do three six. Okay, all right. We have to make sure our denominators are the same. So let's find our least common multiple. So we have. 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, I'm just going to do 5. Um, actually, yes, all right, next we have 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. What number matches? The 12s. So our least common multiple is going to be 12. So let's create our denominators with 12. 4 times what gave me 12? Times 3. So I gotta multiply the top by three. So now I have nine twelfths. Six times what gave me 12? Times two, times two. Three times two is six, all right? So let's go ahead and add this up. So nine plus six is 15, and then the denominator is the same. Let's simplify. I could divide both of these by three. 15 divided by three, is going to be equal to 5. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So we got 1 and 1 fourth as our answer. Okay? So as you can see, as long as the denominators are good, then you're good. Okay? So make sure that the denominators are the same. Now, let's try some su subtraction because it does get a bit harder with uh, the borrowing concept. All right, so subtraction. Let's say we have uh, 3 fourths minus 5 six. All right, uh, let's actually do 3 six. Okay, so what we have to do here is, of course, find our least common multiple. And in that ca this case, it's going to be the same as before, which is 12. So this is going to be 12, and this is going to be 12. Times 3, times 3 is 9. 
times 2 times 2 is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. The denominator has to say the same. Let's simplify. Let's divide the top by 3 and the bottom by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, and 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So this is equivalent to 1 fourth. All right? Now, let's take a look at a situation in which I'm going to have to borrow. And we'll actually do a separate video on that. Yeah, so we'll do a separate video on that. <laughs> let's just continue with this subtraction. Let's say that we have 5 here and 3, and then 4 fifths minus 1 third. Once again, our multiples for 3 and our multiples for 5, you could probably tell what this is going to be. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it's going to be 15. So our denominators have to be equal to 15. Now, times 3 and then times 5. Times 3 is 12. Times 5 is 5. 12 minus 5 is going to be equal to 7. And then 15. This can't be simplified, so that's the answer. Okay? So, in our next video, we're going to go over subtracting fractions in which you have to borrow. Okay? That's it.